What time is it? It's just after eight. Oh no! Don't worry. Uh, do I look good? You look terrific. <sighs> Now tell me about this date. Will you have a nice little table for two? I think Chan is also asking two of his friends. Oh, the more the merrier. <laughs> What will you eat? It's an Indian restaurant. I'll probably order a curry. Delicious! I adore Indian cooking. Do you? Do you recommend I try anything special? Why don't you try a biryani? What is a biryani exactly? It's a fabulous rice dish. It's a bit similar to your Spanish paella. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. And will you have something to drink? I'd like some wine tonight. Do you like white or red wine? It depends on the curry. Very <laughs> sensible. <laughs> Now, don't drink too much. No, no, I won't. I'll only have one or two glasses. Oh, I'm nervous for the time. Don't be nervous about the time. You have loads of time. Let's see. Oh, my heavens! Eight ten. I'm going to be late. No, you're not. I will call the very nice minicab, mm -hmm. and he will be here in no time. Hello. Yes. Good evening. Yes, this is Agatha Johnson here. Fine, thank you. How are you? Glad to hear it. Yes, can you send one of your best drivers? That's right, Chesworth Gardens, number seven. Ask him to ring the bell. How long will it be? Okay, thanks. Good evening. How long will it be? She says the cab will be here in five minutes. You look like a model. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, how much do you think the cab fare will be? Probably around ten quid. Quid? Oh, pounds. Uh, do you have enough money with you? Yes. Thanks. Good. Oh, there he is now. Okay. <laughs> Bye. See you. Night night. Have a good time. Harold. Oh, I miss you. Hi, here I am. What are you doing? Ah, oh, you're having a drink. Can I have one too? Hmm. Maybe it would be better to have one after our lesson. Today we are going to talk about. Countable nouns, such as glasses, bottles, and uncountable nouns like wine, champagne, rice, bread, water. Then we will see how we can use the word some. With uncountable nouns and any in negative sentences, I'd like to bake a cake. I need eggs, flour, sugar, some milk. Oh, I don't have any butter. Hmm. Lastly, we will see how to ask what time it is and how to answer. What time is it? It's lesson time. In this episode, Elena is getting ready to go out for dinner with friends, and she says, "I'll only have one or two glasses." Glass, table, dish are countable nouns. A countable noun is a noun that has both a plural and a singular form. One glass, two glasses. One dish, two dishes. Other nouns are uncountable. Uncountable nouns do not refer to individual objects and cannot be counted. Wine, rice, water, 
money, time. Uncountable nouns are always singular and we need to use the word some. I'd like some wine. You have some money. In interrogative and negative sentences, we put any where the word some was. I don't have any money. Elena doesn't have any time. Okay, is that clear? I hope so. Let's move on to something different. At the beginning of this episode, Elena asks Agatha, What time is it? Do you remember what Agatha answers? Right, it's just after 8. You can say, What time is it? What's the time? Or, could you tell me the time? The easiest way to tell the time is by simply giving the hour and then the minutes. It's 8.10. It's 9.30. It's 10.45. But you can say also, it's 10 past 8. It's half past 9. It's a quarter to 11. Can you tell me what time it is now? We can use a clock after the number, but only when it is the exact hour. You can say two o'clock, five o'clock, and so on. The train arrives at 9.15 a.m. The restaurant opens at 7.30 p.m. Do you know what a.m. and p.m. mean? Wow, you are clever. A.m. is anti-meridian and p.m. is post-meridian. So a.m. and p.m. tell us whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening. By the way, what time is it? Oh, help! I have an appointment with Dylan and I am going to be late. Bye, and see you soon. At last! You had a long sleep? Yes. What's the time? It's almost 12.30. Oof. It is so nice to sleep. Yes. <laughs> And what about last night? Tell me everything. <laughs> there were four of us. Chan, his friend Jerry, and Jerry's girlfriend Kate. Oh, is Kate nice? Yes, she's very nice, very funny. Hmm. She's at nursing school. Oh, how old is she? Mm, she is 20. And what about your dinner? I like Indian food. It is very... Um, how do you say this? Like, <sighs> yeah. Spicy. Oh. <laughs> yes. Indian food can be hot and spicy. And we had some white wine from Kent. White wine with gas. Sparkling wine. Oh. Yes, England does have some very good sparkling wines. <laughs> Jerry and Kate only speak English. That's good practice for you. Yes, but it's very difficult and very tiring. Well, you see we have coffee. Huh? <laughs> I need to ask your opinion about something. Yes. <clears throat> Harold says I should get a job too. You want a job? Well, it gets lonely here during the day. Victor and you are both at school. You have a fun job at the video store. Oh, you want to work at the video store too? No. I want to work as a salesperson, selling accessories and, and clothes. Oh, you're good at that. You think so? Yes. Will you work in a boutique? No, I'd like to work in a big store, a department store. Oh. See, I'm a good shopper. I think I'll be a good seller, too. You will be excellent. Help me practice my sales pitch before you leave for work and before Victor gets home. What time does Victor get home? 
He should be back around six. Mm, okay. This is the company I'm going to apply to. Mm -hmm. Churchill's. They sell very nice women's clothing, and I should get a big discount myself. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I help you, madam? Um, no thanks. I'm just looking. Why don't you try on this dress? It suits you. Hmm. It is a pretty dress, but it's too big. Oh, madam, we have it in smaller sizes. Do you have it in another color? It comes in blue, green, and pink. How much is it? Madam, it's on sale. It's only 42 pounds. Hmm. Okay, I'll take it. Very good choice, madam. <laughs> See, you're a natural salesperson. I'm going to apply at Churchill's tomorrow. Oh, but okay. Don't say anything to Victor. No, I won't. I want to surprise him. Okay. <laughs> Hi there, good to see you. Do you like shopping? We can go shopping together, but first, let's learn some English, okay? Today we are talking about the verb to like and its negative and interrogative forms. Do you like shopping? Agatha likes it, but Victor doesn't like it. After that, we will see the comparison of adjectives. This fork is smaller than the other ones. Then we will talk about prices and how to ask for a price. Finally, you will learn about clothing and colors. We are starting with the verb to like. In this episode, Elena wakes up late Sunday morning after her night out and tells Agatha about her dinner. Can you remember what Elena says about the food? I like Indian food. I like, you like, he, she, it likes, we like, and so on. In English, to like is very much like the verb to love. So you can say, I like sparkling wine, and I love sparkling wine. Do you like sparkling wine? This is the interrogative form. Does Elena like her friends? Do they like shopping? Does Agatha like staying at home? No, she doesn't. So the negative form is, I don't like, you don't like, he, she, it doesn't like, we don't like, and so on. For next time, you could make a list of what you like and what you don't, okay? Agatha tells Elena she'd like to find a job in a department store, so they practice being customer and salesperson. Elena says that's a pretty dress, but it's too big, and Agatha answers we have smaller sizes. Do you know what smaller is? Right, it's a comparative adjective. With comparatives, it's very simple. We just add an ER at the end of the adjective. Smaller, bigger, shorter, longer, and so on. I can also say, this is the smallest fork. This is a superlative, right? With the superlative, we add an EST, est, at the end of the adjective. Smallest, biggest, longest. But this is true only for all short, one syllable adjectives. With longer, multi syllable adjectives, there's a difference. Let's see some examples. Difficult, more difficult, the most difficult, and expensive, more expensive, the most expensive. 
Since we are going shopping, as we said at the beginning of our lesson, you have to learn how to ask about prices. How much is this dress? How much is it? How much are those shoes? How much are they? You can also say, how much does it cost? And how much do they cost? If you want to buy some clothes, you will have to ask about size and color too. Do you have a smaller or bigger size? What colors do you have? Do you have green? Do you have blue? It's late. The shops are closing soon. Bye and see you next time. Hello. Hello. How uh, are your classes? Good, thank you. How is your art school? Oh, it's okay. I had a test today. A test? Mm. A test in art history. That's interesting. Mm. What about me? What about my day? Oh, uh, Aggie, dear, how was your day? Betty take you shopping? No, actually. No shopping. No shopping? Mm -hmm. What on earth happened? I got a job. <laughs> Where? When? Doing what? How? <laughs> When do you start? I start the day after tomorrow. I'm working 10 till 5, Monday to Friday. Congratulations. Mr. James is my supervisor. Very nice man. A real gentleman. Where are you working? Churchills, off St. James Park. I'm a sales assistant in the ladies department. Well, that's handy. You can take the circle line. Does Harold know? It was his idea. Is this a permanent job? I'm working over the Christmas period. Mm. They need more staff. Mr. James says perhaps I can stay on after the holidays. Good. Oh, what are your plans for the holidays, Elena? Will you spend Christmas with us? Yes, please, Elena. <laughs> I'd love to, but my classes finish on the 21st. Well, I have Christmas Day and Boxing Day off. I'll cook a turkey. <laughs> That is very kind, but my return ticket is for the 23rd. It just seems so soon. Mm. Oh, dear. Perhaps the weather will be bad. London is famous for its fog. Maybe your flight home will be delayed or, or canceled. They could close the airport. You simply can't go. <laughs> Agatha, Elaine is here for eight weeks. <laughs> I'm not going yet. Mm. Well, we'll see. Mm. Victor, what about your classes? Uh, we finish up this year on December 21st after my final exams. What day of the week is New Year's Eve? It's Monday this year. Mm. Monday. Oh, it's so sad. Everything ends. Let's take a photo of Elena. Mm -hmm. Oh, Elena and Victor, together. Oh, Agatha. Uh, smile. Please, no. Smile. Uh, there. Can I take a photo of you, Agatha? Oh, dear, no. Oh, please. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, nice to see you again. Today we are going to learn a lot of interesting things. So sit down, take a pen and some paper, and let's start. Oh, but before we start, I'd like to tell you the latest news. I need a new swimming costume. Why do you need a new swimming costume, Gabrielle? Because I'm going to Miami. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm going there by plane. Oh, I hope the flight is not delayed. Is there anybody who would like to come with me?
Well, I guess there are many of you who would like to go to Miami, but back to the lesson. And what I've just said is going to be very helpful. First, we'll study the verb to need and its negative and interrogative forms. After that, we'll talk about transportation problems and when you use why and because. Then we'll look at two expressions. There is and there are, and their interrogative and negative forms. Finally, we'll learn the names of some public holidays, such as Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and New Year's Day, and some useful expressions related to time. In this episode, Agatha tells Victor and Elena that she has taken on a job as a sales assistant. Then Agatha asks Elena if she will stay with them during the Christmas holidays, but Elena is going back to Spain on December 23rd. Talking about her new job, Agatha says they need more staff. So let's talk now about the verb to need. Do you remember when Elena needs to leave? <laughs> she needs to leave on the 23rd. I need, you need, he, she, it needs, we need, etc. To need means to require, to want something very much. I need a new swimming costume. Do you need my help? No, thank you. I don't need it. These are the negative and interrogative forms. Do you need? Does he or she need? No, I don't need. You don't need. He doesn't need. She doesn't need, etc. As you have seen, Elena is going back to Spain. Perfect. You are brilliant. Unfortunately, when traveling, there may be problems. Why is the flight delayed? Because of the fog. Why is the train delayed? Because of a strike. So we use the word why for the question and because for the answer. Why do you study English? Because it's useful and fun. At least I hope so. Why do you need a new swimming costume, Gabrielle? Because I'm going to Miami. Let's look at the two expressions I mentioned earlier. There is and there are. For example, there is a book on the table. There are some books on the table. Now, the interrogative form. Are there any classes? Is there enough time? You can answer, there aren't any classes, and there isn't any time. This is the negative form. Right, to finish the lesson in this episode, Agatha said, they need more staff for the Christmas period. So let's look at some public holidays. Christmas Day, Boxing Day, December 26, New Year's Day, Easter Sunday, Independence Day. Even though I'm an adult, my favorite holiday still is Christmas. And yours? Hmm, time to go. But bye and see you soon.